<laughs> Screw you, Lewis. That would be disturbing. Set it for like 10 in the morning. Seven's a little early. There you go. Stop appraising my stuff while I'm sleeping. <laughs> He's just in there tallying furniture. Yeah. He's mm. like, this desk, oh, that's not Victorian it's at all. It's not authentic. But it came with the house. Oh, no, no, I don't care. Throw it out. Okay, get your bum down to the library. Look how fast I'm maneuvering these halls. I'm just sprinting. I know, you know the house Nyom. now. Nyom. Nyom. He's Nyom. learned to navigate everybody. Not, not uh, upstairs. I'll never figure out upstairs. Alright, open, just open the secret passage. That piece of crap spent the night here. He's like sleeping on his, <laughs> sleeping on sleeping on his desk. <laughs> you just open the secret passage. He wakes up all confused. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> It was slipping there. Let's see what the good old Lewis is up to. There's his oh my legs. God. They're he moving. Just, he just did some sort of Lewis electric slide maneuver there. Lewis is up to something. Yeah, he's doing his job. <laughs> uh -huh. That's it. Lewis. Did he say that to himself? Yeah. I'll be right there. <laughs> I still think it'd be hilarious if it was like a penthouse magazine. You open it up and it's like oh, the Hustler February edition. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, that's it. He's hiding something in his briefcase. It's porn. <laughs> they just keep old porn on the bookcases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 1800s porn. They like show an ankle and Lewis is like, oh, -ho! <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, what's the thing? Uh, 4653. And the other one is 4868. Okay. Now let me sift through this. So the book is the most important. Read the book. Dumbo food? What's that? Right. I'm gonna text Mao and ask him what it means. Wing fang. Now we can do that. <laughs> Gumbo food? Yeah. I'm gonna text him up. He'll be like, I don't understand it because it's not like these won't. symbols. What is it what is it actually? Uh you haven't figured it out yet. Still. Is that his cell phone? Rick Arlen, yeah! Oh, Easter eggs. Rick Arlen's back with a vengeance. I should steal his cell phone. I don't think you can. Is that a cell phone, really? I don't In know. 2000? Yeah. I guess it's possible. pretty thick. It'd be a big, thick piece of dumb. It barely fits in there. Now I leave. Now you have back. to ask everyone what gumbo foo means. I'll just figure out what it means. She doesn't tell you outright what it means. Well, screw her then. No, I'd rather not. Whoever she is. Not with that voice. And her terrible voice. Emily Foxworth speaking. Hello, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. How's your case coming along? Do you know what suck an egg. <laughs> I'm stuck. I got my foot jammed in a corner. <laughs> is that a saying? Oh, I, uh, I just heard somebody leave or come in. in the meantime, I'll He's probably about. not there. Gumbo food. Just he just he walked in, saw me on the phone, and left again. And left again, yeah. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. Talk to you later. Goodbye, the chances Emily. that Mao is actually going to respond is slim to none. Not in the next hour. He <laughs> might respond in like five or six hours. <laughs> I'll include an update as to what his his version of it means. It's probably some sort of drug. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> he says, no idea, you must not be saying it right. It's like, what? I texted it to you. <laughs> well, I, I, I punched it in exactly the same as... <laughs> as, it, as it says in the game. What is Whatever the game says it is, be like, what's that in Chinese? Yeah. Well, I said that. I typed in, like, what does gumbo foo mean in Chinese? And he says, I don't know. You must be spelling it wrong. <laughs> Why am I in my room? 
Why did I walk back? Why is there such dramatic music? I don't know, it does that. Yeah, it's, it's like you game. walk out into the hallway and it's like, boom, boom. This is the music that plays on the first level of Goldeneye. <laughs> I swear. If not, it's pretty damn similar. Hello. You look thrilled. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Gumbo, gumbo foo? I love gumbo. What kind of gumbo is gumbo foo? Shut up. <laughs> God, you hate her. That wasn't funny. <laughs> what does that mean? Did you call me scum? Yeah. That piece of crap. <laughs> Good job, Mike. I'm gonna fight her. Charlie's Charlie's fighting her, I'm fighting her too. Hi Nancy. What's up? Do you know what the words gum? I don't even let him finish his sentence. <laughs> I'm not sure. Never heard that before. I'll let you What's he even doing? He's been sanding the same he, He's painting it. He's been painting the damn board all three days. The same board. It's probably, it's probably not and even the a paint, board. And the paint doesn't exist. It's, it's not getting any blacker. It's probably like that thick of just paint. It's been painted <laughs> just a, for so long. Just on the tablecloth, a big mountain I finished paint. that paint board you wanted. <laughs> no talk to Rose about it. Oh, did you talk to Rose already? Oh. No, you didn't. You did not. Go in. The only one really of any help in this game is Lewis. Everyone else has no idea about anything. But Lewis is the culprit. Lewis and your friend Emily. Everybody else, no. Should be back there. I don't know. He checked. Sprint. Is on fire this time. <laughs> just doesn't like the room. Damn it, Lewis. Lewis's desk, ah. Lewis's desk is on fire. What time is it? What's he doing? Is he getting paid? Is he on the payroll for well, this? Well, it's freaking. Oh, it's only 11 o'clock. He's not going to be in here till 12. That's why. You got to. You can use well, your. He was here earlier. I know, but that's only for the convenience of being in the secret passage room. Right oh, that's, that is convenient. Is so that fire extinguisher still there? Yeah, it should be. Oh, never mind. Well, this is just a safety hazard now. You just it? threw it out after. <laughs> never refills One of those one-use fire hydrants. Fire hydrants? Whatever it is. Fire extinguisher. Extinguisher. Hydrant extinguisher. They just keep a fire hydrant in the house. <laughs> oh, shit. Wouldn't Attach the hose. Me. Was that a common feature in old houses like this? They all had fire hydrants. Yeah. So you can kill time or sleep until <laughs> noonish. She has noise. nothing more to say. So yeah, I'm basically killing time. You're now. basically killing time until he shows up. So you might as well just well, go take a, a nap or something. Yeah, it's just a ghost. It's uh, supposed to be a haunted mansion, so you see weird things like that happening. I like the haunted mansion. As I said earlier, this game it like really shows its age in terms of like scares and creepiness. The later scary games are actually like much scarier. Just alarm and set. You should be back there. Half an hour. Ooh. Lewis, you're wasting my time. You're actually pretty close to the end of the game right now. You should be able to beat it in the next half an hour or so. Good, because I'm having steak for supper. Okay. <laughs> 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 Damn right. Uh, let's go see what Lewis has to say. Can't be having cold steaks now. I should just like empty my inventory and just start whipping things at him. Like the crowbar, the tape. <laughs> Freaking bombing him. Cassette tape at him. I right, in the secret <laughs> passage, go up behind him and beat him with the crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> Looks up from his study, sees the doors closed. Wow. Right on Nancy's face. Yes, Nancy. Do you know what yes, gumbo boo means? Where did you hear that? I want to I wanna do it. I'll second chance it. But sure, go for it. I, I want to see him freak out. No doubt the book I have locked in my briefcase. I thought someone had been in there. I think I'll need to have a word with Rose. He doesn't Alex. really freak out. He's just like, he's just like, ah! You heard about it in the one I'm book that has the name in it in the entire in world. Some degree of privacy and you have obviously violated that trust. 
Your behavior is it's completely unacceptable. No argument. At least she has emotion. So Jesus, she just keeps getting house. madder and madder. I know. You off at the airport. Oh my god. Sorry it has to work out this way. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> So yeah, like immediately, I'm he like, like <laughs> just loses it. She like, well, like I mean, it's, Not only are you he doesn't fired, even give you a home. chance to defend yourself. It's like yeah, literally, my book is the only book in the entire world that has gumbo foo in it. I read about it in a magazine. Well, is a magazine not a book? Fuck if I know. I see. As I recall, <laughs> yeah. it means seems House skeptical. Of great books. After the great earthquake, ask him what a House of Great Books is in Chinese. To save them from the fires. He'd be like, the why Chinese the hell would you want to know that? Gumbo Fu. Gumbo Fu. I won't keep you any longer. But according to Mao, that makes no sense. So well, Text him, text him House of House of Great Books. I, I told him what it meant, but he hasn't texted me back yet. Uh, it says, how's it going, bud? <laughs> he's he's going to be like... That's his reply. Ha ha, no idea. You must not be saying it right. <laughs> now what? You kill Lewis. Uh, I think I you wish. talk to Rose. I'd be pretty damn If it's excited. near the end of the game, I think you have to talk to Rose. <laughs> Just murder Lewis. <laughs> That's Just the climax of the game. Leave. <laughs> Let's see. You have invaded privacy. I will take you to the airport immediately. Also, you committed a murder. I'm glad you yeah, good. By. You know, I wanted to tell you that you'll be alone in the house for a while. A while. Everyone is going to the winter festival. The winter festival. Why wasn't I invited? I also took down one of the Screw you, you stay. Room for dry cleaning and Only one what was the other thing? The word oh, food. a messenger dropped off a letter for you. I put it in your room. Okay, so now this is the climax of the game. I can see you're busy. So head to your room where we do so the long. final puzzles of the game. Do I have to play the piano? You already did. No. Damn it. Well, that was unexciting. He's moving too fast. Don't know where he's going. Oh yeah. Neither do I. That makes two of us. I'll see that letter. Ah, uh, it's on your couch, I believe. Who threw it? No, no, letter on no, the couch. not there. Keep turning. Keep turning. There, on your chair. Oh, that piece of crap. The room's a mess. It is. It really is. Just stuff it. It's from Emily Foxworth. She finally got back to. Oh, Cage coming along. She finally went and got back to you, but what? God. Uh, it means a gold treasure mansion, actually. Oh, there you go. So, Lewis is a complete, a complete he's fraud. He's a complete liar, yeah. Well, is he a fraud or is he lying to you on purpose? He's a fraud because he's a piece of crap. So, that was the symbol for gold, if you didn't notice there. Okay. Okay, so. No, no. not that. She said she took a tapestry down. Keep turning to the left. That's the right. No, <laughs> it's the same no. It used to be a tapestry there by your bed, but there is oh, no here. more. Yeah. Okay, so do you remember the order there? Oh, I know rat comes first. Rat is first. Then ox. Um. Do I move it or do I? No, you it? just press them in. The okay. Buttons. Rat, ox. So which one looks like? What the hell is ox? that? It's a horse. What? No, you're lying. No, it's a horse. That's a goat. It's like the four ox legs. is right there. Tiger. Yeah. Rabbit. Dragon. <laughs> Click on the snake. 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 Horse. Goat. Monkey. Rooster. Dog. And boar. Did you mess it up? I don't think so. Yeah, you pushed too many buttons. Here, back away. Oh. Must have been when you were mass clicking each rat. <laughs> yeah, it must have been. Okay, uh, I got the order. Okay. Rat, ox. That's the trick. <laughs> rat, ox. Tiger, rabbit. Dragon. That's oh. not the dragon. <laughs> Go to that one Snake, every time. Horse. That's, are you sure that's, that's the, the horse? horse? Goat. Skeptical. Monkey, rooster, dog, and boar. There you go. It's a boar or pig. It's a wild pig. 
Okay, so now comes the second part of this. These are the Chinese symbols. You click the arrow to enter in a combination. Okay. And you click the middle to reset it. Oh, okay, so crazy. now you have to remember the poem and remember which words were highlighted. So it says, listen... You just closed it on yourself. <laughs> I don't remember the code. I was going to go read the okay, poem. Okay, fine. Go read. I could have just told you it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no. I have to... Waste <laughs> more time. This is a this is a walkthrough. These people have to know what to do. <sighs> Whatever. So child it's beginning, child beginning, daughter, four, four eye, fire, moon, king, river, and gold. Where's river? Oh, there it is. Okay. And now you got to enter in this with the animals again. Got it. Rat. Fox, tiger, tiger, rabbit, rabbit, dragon, dragon snake, snake, horse, horse. Yes. goat, <laughs> monkey, rooster, dog, boar. Okay, so. How do I turn this thing? On the side. Do I just click? No, yeah. it, there, it turns into a, a circle. Yeah, no, no, Move right it to there, the edges of there. There you go. Oh, look That's how you that. turn it. Okay. So, child was first. There's the symbol for child. The three of the line. So you click on the arrow at the top. Good. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams and know that the beginning. It looks like that. That one right there. Is more difficult than it seems when the ten daughters. That one? That one. That one. I believe it's that one. Fuck. Mike! <laughs> I can't navigate. <laughs> child beginning. You have to do it over. Yeah, I'm looking for child. <laughs> it's on child right now. Okay. So that's easy. Child beginning is this one. That Two one. over. Or... Yes, that one. There you go. And know the beginning is more difficult than it seems in the ten daughters. It's that one. I almost did it again. Are reunited in order when the four-sided box loses its border. It's, yeah, it's a square That box. one's pretty it's bad. It's a box. It's pretty vague. When the I, it, the slow one looks like the E. That one? Yeah. You reset it. You want me to do this? I got this. Begin. <laughs> I can't believe I have to cut opening a lock. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, <God. laughs> Daughter. This is the hardest part of the game by far. It's this big jagged one, right? Yeah. Okay. When the four-sided box loses its border. When the eye... I... Yes. Of the phoenix is in your hand when the bird of fire can see again the K. It's right next to it, the K. Okay. <laughs> when the moon, the moon is the F looking thing. I'm so tempted right to reset to it. it. Yeah. And the sun plays, the king is the three lines across. That one right that there. That one, K. Yeah. Will shine his rays and hidden beneath a river is the three lines. One more after this, right? Yeah, oh, uh, color will I get to golden wonders. Gold is the house looking thing. Yeah. There you go. Did you do it right? Yeah. Reset. Reset. <laughs> Alright, so there's a bunch of shit in here. I can Don't see click on that thing yet. You can click on the papers to look around in them first. I wasn't here. Sure. Just the buried that's treasure? That's just, no, that's just your earrings. <laughs> this is all Lizzie Applegate shit. Need. My dearest Elizabeth, I could never fully what? Sully. I could never sully what sweet name. Name by oh that sweet name. I can never sully that sweet name by calling you Lizzie. You shall evermore be Elizabeth, my Elizabeth, the sweet dear woman who has honored me with her enchanting presence and grace. Tonight, if I ride on tonight, uh, I ride on yet and the perilous something meticulous it's perilous oh. tonight if i ride on yet 
another par oh okay tonight if I ride on yet another perilous trip uh, I ride on yet another perilous trip but always to return to your beloved smile uh, until then please accept this bouquet of gardenias your favorite don't click on that yet there's more to see there's something missing our wedding day. Elizabeth Applegate of Gold Pine Valley something and Diego Valdez. <laughs> but if it was like Elizabeth Applegate and El Diablo. This is the same people. But <laughs> no, yeah. but it's just like flat out. It just says who he is. So yeah, if anyone hasn't got it yet, Valdez was Diablo and him and Elizabeth Applegate were married. I thought they were the same person. Huh? I thought they were the same person. Who? Uh, Diego Valdez and what's her name? Applegate. Mm, no. My dearest Elizabeth, only one soul on this great earth knows true, the true secrets that circle my heart, my love for you, and my secret identity. Know that my intentions are the purest in all respects. If I am a modest man, oh, I am a modest man, all of the wealth um, that you have acquired or something like that by devious God means are oh God. El Diablo can be identified by his terrible handwriting apparently my dearest Elizabeth only one soul on this great earth knows the great or what the true secrets the true secrets that circle my, my heart, heart my love for you and my secret, secret identity. identity know that my intentions are the purest in all aspects I am a modest man, and all of the wealth that I have acquired, acquired by devious means are pushed. Put, put oh, to put the to best the, uses. Put to the all best given uses. To the, to the poor, the misfortunate, and the defenseless. And so I am a poor, misfortunate, and defenseless man in the presence of your beauty. So he's stealing it all. You no, he's, he's keeping it all for himself. You stole my heart, dear Elizabeth, and all of. And all I ask is your hand in marriage to be mine. So he says he's basically a Robin Hood is what he is. He steals but gives it to the less fortunate. Oh. Please don't let this be a handwritten note. It is. Oh, no, oh, no, no thank God. I, Elizabeth Valdez, do hereby make this my last will and testament to my dear friend Nellie Beecham. My black onyx necklace and earrings and the sum of $5,000 to my employee Wing Tang, the sum of $15,000 oh, to my end. cherished secretary Mabel Craddy, the sum of $10,000 and to my beloved husband Diego Valdez, the entirety of my estate, my house and its contents with the exception of the bequests above. In the event that my husband Diego Valdez is not located after a period of one year after my death or is found to be deceased, the entirety of my estate with the exception of the bequests above are to be liquidated and all proceeds of said transaction are to be provided to the Ladies' Protection and Relief Society, witnessed on this day, the 8th of April, 1902. So, when she dies, Valdez inherits his name. Okay, now you can click on that. That was unnecessary. Yeah, I know. But you needed it. Why? Okay, remember that? You have to change all the moons to suns. And remember what she said? Not specifically. Four corners from east to west and then return to the center. Like that? Yeah. Four corners east to west. Like there? You have to zoom up on it first. There. There. There, there, and then center. Try it. I think you messed up. I think you messed up already. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I clicked too fast. Okay. No. What are you doing? Four corners. East. Four corners, oh, okay. guys. I was going. I was going around the whole thing. Oh. And then center. There you go. Well, anyone can do that. Yeah. Try doing it when you don't know how to do that. It's the most frustrating thing you'll ever see. Did this thing just dispense a whole bunch of coins? No, it unlocked itself. And now you got another slider puzzle. Oh, frick! These things. I wasn't really paying attention that one downstairs, but. That's probably the top right there. I forget this one. And the body is out there. I got everything right with the body. And it messes all of it up. Okay. 
Yeah, it's not it. Oh, that didn't even look fuck right. Balls. Completed. Okay. Yes. You got that. I got the Jack Ruby. So, what do you think you got to do with that now? Rub it in Lewis's face. You don't. That's not the treasure. Oh. <laughs> that isn't the treasure. The treasure's the gold coins. Look again to the poem. Okay. Poem tells you what to do. Everything has to do with the poem. So it says, when the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, oh, I know what to do when the that. bird of fire yeah, can it. see again. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, more shadows. That's good. Oh. I didn't see shadows. I don't know what took us longer, that sliding puzzle or the sliding puzzle. There was that one. one. That's not what you do with it. No? You're close. You're very close. Look at the posts on the staircase. That one's got its eye. That one's got its eye. It's a trap. That it's one a trap. does not. Okay, here's the climax of the game. Couldn't you put anything in there? Pretty much. Can you imagine? But if, you wouldn't know. Can you imagine if somebody did that? Like, just put, like, some so bead in there? So River of Colors. It's a rainbow. So he told you to look at the logo. It's stuck. Crowbar time. That's a door? It's a trap door, yeah. Gold! Gold! And to think I was standing on it all along. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis! It's Lewis, I told you. Too bad no one will ever find out about it. Like, still you still sitting in his chair. Lewis? Where'd you come from, Lewis? Did he I knock her out? It. There must be over a million dollars in here. When to count. I stop him before he gets away. What do you think you can do to stop him? Crowbar. Never yeah, we'll click on him now. So long, losers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that running animation. <laughs> <laughs> so long, losers. Like, walks out the door. There was nothing I could do. I'm sure there was something you could have done to stop That'd be him. funny if the game actually well, ended like you this. He <laughs> just reappears in a later game and you have to fight him. So long, right. losers. <laughs> I gotta drop the chandelier this on him, don't time. I? You do. That's a good thinking. <laughs> I gotta stop him before he gets away. Well, how do I get up there? The stairs. See, that's slow? Yeah, you said slow. So long, losers. It's over there. Where? Keep it. There? The string. It's right there. Oh, right. I saw that earlier. Loosen that shit right up. Keep doing it. Do I click to loosen it? Oh. What? Hey! <laughs> nice read, Lewis. <laughs> what? Hey! 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 hey. Get me out of here! He'd be dead. That would kill him. There would be no way he would live through I like that. the emoting there. Hey, hey, somebody let me out of here. He's getting crushed by the behind all of the accidents, hoping to pressure Rose into selling the house so he could find the treasure himself. And he kept the most incompetent workers around so that he could do it. The bank the coins were stolen from will still give them a reward for finding it. The coins are worth like a million. Corporations win in the end. The just like real life. And the place is booked solid for the first month of its opening. I guess a haunted bed and breakfast with hidden treasures is all the rage these days. Even if there are no such things as ghosts. Uh, I think. See you soon, Nancy. There you go. You solve the case of number three. Final I thoughts. Just, I could have just arrested Lewis immediately because I hated him. <laughs> you could have hit him over the head with a cr crowbar. That would have made for a much better ending, but... Just pull violence. Like out of her you can't promote violence. No, but, but you can drop shit. You can tell, yeah, yeah, gosh, chandeliers on his head. If you did that in real life, they would have been dead. Oh, yeah, there's no way he would have survived a freaking, just, like, 90-pound chandelier falling would be just lying on the feet. floor being like, hey, hey, let me out of here. Let me out of here. So long, My legs, they can't move normally. <laughs> he sprints off into the sunset at one mile okay, an hour. So, final thoughts. Did you? That was my final thoughts. Lewis which game? Did this beat number one? Oh. That's a good question. I think it did. I don't know. Uh, I actually, I really like this one simply because I like the story behind it. Uh, like the hidden treasure and stuff like that. Okay. It was it was okay, the yeah. first one they did that actually had like a historical backstory to again. it. Charlie Murphy? Charlie Murphy. By Scott Carty. Uh, yeah, this one's probably better than one. 
But, like... I just liked how everybody kept making fun of the dead kid in the first one. That was terrific. <laughs> yeah, not very realistic, though. I like it. I don't know. This one's pretty good, though. I like I place it probably, like, maybe 6th or 7th out of all uh, the 30 that are out now. I would put it first out of the 3 that i played. Out of the played. 3 that you've played, yeah. It's, it's an upgrade on the other two, uh, like I said. I think the animation was worse on this one than the second one. Nah, I, I, they're Watching comparable. Run? No, well, no. <laughs> it gets a lot. The animation honestly really doesn't start to pick up until about game number Man, 11. Man, that guy's name is Joey DeBugs. Like, actually game number 10, I'd say. Like, 1 to 9 all has kind of that same clunky animation. Whereas number 10 is when it actually starts looking like real fun. For girls people. who aren't afraid of a mouse. Yeah, I know, that's their catchphrase. Is catch that an phrase. upgrade? Huh? Over, over the sleuths? They've always had that. They've had that since game one. Oh. They stopped using that later never. on, though. Never. They never stopped. But yeah, oh, no. <laughs> so long, losers. <laughs> I thought the ending was probably the best on, on this one out of all the rest. Because at least, like, there's some actual thought process behind it, you know? The other two, like, number one's ending was terrible. It was like, just pick up a gun and point it at him. And number two, I felt like it was really abrupt. It was like... Here's here's this code. Use it to. It's basically like a race against the clock. Where this one, what you use is actually in the game the entire time. Sort of. So you know, like you can think back. Oh, you know, there's a chandelier over this room. Let's. I'd rather watch Lewis run about off. It for this run off. That was terrific to see. That that was the payoff. Watching him run off <laughs> and yell so off long, with losers. The, with the gold. <laughs> that was terrific. Oh, God. Wouldn't they catch him anyway? Like, does he have a car? <laughs> he wouldn't get far. Well, I mean, like, they they know who he is. It's not like <laughs> that he hit his face or anything like that. I mean, like, literally, Nancy could have got on the phone and been like, yeah, 911, there's this guy named Lewis Chandler. He owns, like, Chandler Interiors. He just Called made off loser. with several million dollars worth of gold. Called me a loser. <laughs> you might want to arrest him. He Knocked me out. Like, I mean, frick. I don't know, he might have had a chance to get away if he was smart, but I don't think he's... But he wasn't. I don't think he would be that intelligent. I mean, he couldn't find the frickin' gold on his own. I don't think he'd be able to evade the police forever. No, it was in the front step of the house. He would have he would have walked over the first step he took in. You think, like, almost somebody would have found that over the years? Like, with the renovations going on and stuff, you would have think that someone, like, would have made a dent in the floor, or someone would have realized that it was hollow. On it. It's like, oh, it's hollow. Yeah, yeah. and they would have been like, is there something under here? I don't know. Or when you're walking on it, you would hear something. Yeah, hollow. you would think that someone would eventually find out, oh, it's hollow, but I don't know. I'm having trouble playing games from a studio named Her Interactive. <laughs> yeah. I'm finding that difficult. Know. You'll get used to it. I won't. So I don't think losers. I will. <laughs> so long. So Later, long. losers. Losers. Who says that again? What? Later, losers. Um, uh, that's from a TV show. I don't think so. But I can't remember who it is. It's probably on this too at some point. It could be. Maybe I'm making of a further game in this. But yeah, number four, unfortunately, I don't like as much as this one. Let's well, skip it. No, we gotta play it. No, let's skip it. We only have eight days. I think we can get them both done in eight days. Number five doesn't take a while. Number four, I think we can do pretty quick. We can probably both get them done in under four hours. Oh, well, it's only took four hours. This one took. This one, actually, if you know what you're doing, you can get through it really quick. So long, losers. Oh, that was awesome. I could probably blow this through this one in about an hour and a half if I really wanted to. Yeah, probably. Because, like, there's a bunch of shit that you really don't need to look at. Yeah. It's just for backstory and stuff, so... You basically just need that tapestry gone, and then you can finish yeah. the game. Well, I mean, you really don't even have to look for all of the symbols. No, you don't. If you, if you know, yeah, if you already have them, you basically just do Rose's renovations, open the attic... Find out Charlie's hiding place, put out the fire, spy on Lewis, spy on Abby, and that's pretty much yeah, the game. You're done. So, anyway, uh, yeah, next time will be number four. It's um, Treasure in the Royal Tower. It has kind of a historical setting to it and a treasure hunt too, but for some reason I don't like it as much because, I don't know. Because I don't. 
I don't even know why I don't. I think maybe just like the idea of like old Western gold is a lot better than like like French Revolution treasure. Oh no, French Revolution is where it's at. I don't know. And f number four is gonna get really freaking confusing to navigate. Number four? Yeah, because there's it's a hotel, right? And not only are there multiple hallways, but there are dead ends everywhere because the guy who built the castle or the hotel is was a, a little is, is a little bit of a mental case. Damn so it. yeah, you'll be walking down a hallway and you'll just come to like a dead end. So it should be hilarious trying to f watch him try to figure out like there's three floors. It's it gets confusing, but what was the what was the name of that thing again? What thing? Uh, the uh, what do you call it? Which that, the House of Gold or whatever? Uh -huh. Gold Treasure Mansion is what it translated to, apparently. Okay. But I don't I'm think putting it does. it in on Google Translate. Okay, we'll, we'll find out once and for all if this actually means something. There's two different Chineses. That could make the difference. Could be. Oh, not even well, close. Uh, well, it's, well, that's in Chinese, though. It's not an English translation. Touche. I don't know. You could try the other one, but traditional Chinese. I think that's probably gonna be even worse. Something. Yeah. It's pretty loose translation. It's dude. probably it's probably a saying. Yeah. I don't really a think saying. gumbo. It's I don't really Chinese think gumbo foo. Yeah, wouldn't mean anything. <laughs> gumbo foo. Lin Lindsay Newman. Katie Denny? Any related to the other Katie Newman? Denny. Any relation to Randy Newman? Anyway, I think we've rambled on long enough. So, uh, I guess join us next time when we try to solve treasure in the Royal Tower. <laughs>